Okay, so today I'd like to share some ideas about libraries, the way I use them and the way I'd like to use them. Um, first of all, I'm using Matrix 7.5, and I know it has changed a lot, and I might go over it again depending on how different it is, but there's a, probably a few different ways I use libraries. Um, one is if you look in the projects area in your regular job bags where I have a list of tons of my normal customer jobs. But I also put an underscore so they come up to the top and I can find them easily. I have all my libraries um, where you can have Celtic Knot or BAM, where I can easily just tap on it and just wait and let it import. Um, and then I have a base to work from. Um, I like to break them down into categories so I have all the different ones. So that's one way have a library. Now, another way is Rhino 5 has their own library system. You can click it and you can actually go down and if you you go to your settings, you're able to go into your libraries and click here and you can look for a, a new path of where you're going to have your library. I've added just two right here for now to show you. And once you push OK, boom, they're there. And you can easily just swap in between different libraries. So you go there and you can put any path. So any folder that you start, you can name it whatever topic. And you can just come here and swap in and out of them really easy. The only part I don't like is, you know, it's not as visually nice as the other one. Um, let's see here. Kind of got popped behind. So there we go. Um, if you want, you can kind of try and make your icons bigger, but they all default back to the small ones. Um, at least in the in Windows Seven. And not only that, when you want to import something, you have to drag and drop, choose import, okay. And then you wait. So that's one way. Then you have your base to start from. Now, another technique that I like to use is here, the T-Splines library, which is full of different categories, as you can see at the top, has things that came with the program and then others I've added and you know you can go on to different ideas halos, heads, all kinds of things that I like to use in T-Splines. Um, this is my favorite library because visually it's really nice. Um, I can make the icon smaller or bigger really easy. Um, not only that, but you know, you just find what you need, click on it, and it imports. Okay. Um, another thing I like about it is you can add to your F6 menu, which you can do with the other folders too. But you can add to the T-Spline library, and I think I haven't added it here. But you can make a shortcut that you just click on it and export it or you can just click on export selected and export it to the library um, that's one way and I think the windows keeps getting thrown behind there we go so that is my favorite way and I know in matrix 8 they have not only a library like this, but they have that Burma library. Let's see. If you go to their site, and sorry I don't have Matrix 8 right now to be able to show you, but in this video, if you go to their site and check it out, they have another library that's just like the T-Spline library, but this one shows their different shapes and hues. 
They also have a drop down menu where they can swap in and out of a, a few libraries. That is exactly what would be really awesome with this type of library where just like on the Rhino one, if I could just add different paths and then use a drop down menu and swap in between them, I'd have this beautiful display and easily import all anything I want and have the different categories that I want. Um, it's perfect. It's different from the job bag where I like to work with customers jobs where you know I have a customer I start their job and I can actually you know start the timer um, which I really wish there was a start and stop button up here to make it easier but basically you can start and stop the timer um, I like to work with those in job ads with customer jobs the library is here although I've been doing it my preferred method would be to use the Peace Pine library. It's just visually great. I love the library. It just needs one little feature added to it. Um, other than that, that's libraries. At least the way I, I've been using them. The three different ways you can choose the best way that you like. And, you know, this one works too. It's just as you can see that Spine library. This is the same library, it's just it's not quite as nice. Um, and there's just all I need to do is just add that one little feature for us to be able to add some libraries and swap in them in, in and out of them. It would be perfect. Um, for those that make parts and start, it just makes it so much easier when you start out, just pull out some type of a shank and then you can. Uh, just adjust it from there. Anyway, I hope you liked it. And libraries rule if you can use them properly.